What's the one thing that separates Facebook ad campaigns that lose money from ones that make $10,000 plus per month? It's not what most e-commerce gurus tell you. I'm gonna reveal this critical difference in just a few minutes. I'm the CEO of one of the largest e-commerce education platforms in the country. I ran hundreds of ad campaigns that have brought me in a consistent four to five times my return on ad spend. There's a pattern I've discovered. The most successful ones all have a hidden structure that 93% of beginners completely miss. I'm gonna reveal the structure in a bit and it's going to completely transform how you think about advertising on Facebook. For now, you're gonna need these creatives already prepared, at least three videos, or you can have at least one video with three different hooks, which is still gonna count as three different videos. Next, at least one still image ad. And lastly, you need one carousel ad. Now, for the ad copy, you don't need to be a professional copywriter. This is where AI can help you work smarter, not harder. Here's a quick ChatGPT prompt that will save you time so you don't have to come up with the one yourself. Write me two different examples of short advertisement copy for my product. Here's some information about my product, which here you'll go ahead and lay out some features and benefits of the product. I want the target audience to be blank. Then here, this is where you're gonna enter in your audience persona and who you wanna target with your product. Then after entering that information, you'll just say, highlight some key features of my product. Please include a sentence at the end where I can insert a link leading people to my store. Then when you get the response, remember just to edit it and match it to your brand's voice. Please do not just copy and paste it. You wanna make it sound like a person actually wrote it. And honestly, coming up with your own creatives, it doesn't have to be that complicated either. You could do that by just taking your own pictures and videos and using CapCut to make ads by yourself or even hiring an ad service to do it for you. Then after you gathered all your creative assets, you can now start setting up your first campaign. You remember that one thing that I mentioned earlier? Most people when they first advertise immediately jump to audience targeting thinking that that's the key to success, but there's actually a much more important setting that determines whether your campaign will succeed or fail. And in order for me to show you that setting, we need to actually set up your ad campaign. So to start setting up your ad campaign, you need to have a Facebook ads manager account and a business account already made. Then once you have those accounts made, you then need to come over here to your ads manager account. Click the create button under campaigns and go ahead and scroll down and make sure you're making a sales campaign. Click continue and here, you wanna make sure that this manual sales campaign part is selected because it's gonna let you set up everything for this campaign yourself. So when you go ahead and check that, click continue. All right, so now you need to go ahead and set up a name for the campaign that you're making, and then you can scroll down, making sure everything is good here, and then click next at the bottom. Then you need to make a name for your ad set. Then from here, scroll down and change the conversion location to website. And right here, you can set up your ad set's budget as well as the date that you want this campaign to start and if or when you want it to end. And here it is. This is the setting I told you about earlier. This is what separates profitable campaigns from money draining ones and almost no one talks about it. This is where most office workers waste money when starting out. And here's a secret that I promise. Most people would assume that you either only have to market your ads to the US and the UK, but there's a lot of other regions that you should be marketing your ads to. These five regions are the biggest spenders when it comes to the e-commerce market. And if you want the chance to increase your audience and your sales too, you need to change your ads targeting to include United States, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand. Now that we got those inputted, when it comes to your advanced setting, you wanna switch from the advanced audience setting to the original audience setting by clicking here. But the real magic isn't just targeting these countries. It's what we're about to do with the audience settings that will completely change your results. I lost hundreds of dollars on failed ad campaigns before learning this, and it's the exact approach that helped me quit my nine to five in just 60 days. People under 21 typically have less disposable income, and we wanna target people who can actually buy our products. So there's no reason that you should risk your money right off the bat by advertising to people who genuinely don't have any disposable income to spend with you. So when setting up the campaigns, I'm always gonna do 21 plus. Now that that's set up, go ahead and scroll down and click next. And now that the ad set is ready, you now need to actually set up the ad itself inside of the group. All right, so right here at the top, go ahead and enter in the ad name. And there's also a hidden targeting option I'm gonna show you in the next step that 98% of beginners just don't know about. Where it completely changed my business and it's responsible for cutting my ad cost almost in half overnight. With that being said, you need to make sure that the upload settings is set to manual upload so you can choose what visuals you wanna add, select the right format for your video ad, and upload your ad. Click media right here on the left side. Then once it's uploaded, click next at the bottom and then click done. And once your media is uploaded, you can come in here and actually add in some text that's gonna catch your audience's attention. So they're gonna be interested in actually watching your ad. For example, I'm gonna put something like free shipping and I'm putting it here because customers are always drawn to free stuff. Then down in the description, I'm gonna paste some text that I got from ChatGPT earlier for this ad. 
And then after that, I'm gonna select one of the call to actions here, which 99.9% .9 of the time, you should always choose shop now. From here, you're just gonna need to scroll down, make sure everything is good, and then make sure that the store URL is leading your audience to the right place. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll back up here and make sure everything is correct. And yeah, everything looks good. All right, if you have any questions so far or you wanna get feedback on the ad campaigns that you're already running, I'm giving the chance of hopping on a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call with myself and my team so you can get ahead of the competition with our expert advice. If you wanna enter in this giveaway and get the chance of winning this free one-on-one -on -one consulting call, all you have to do is answer the question I'm gonna give you at the end of the next step in the process. Now, here's where you get smart with your campaign. This is the second part of that hidden structure that I mentioned earlier a specific testing pattern that successful e-commerce entrepreneurs are using, but almost never share publicly. I've been teaching this exact method for over five years now, and using this structure is the main reason my conversion rate for all the products that I'm testing are three to 4% or more. Let me show you exactly how it works. Instead of guessing what works, we're gonna test multiple creatives against each other. So you wanna go down to the media section, and then click the edit media dropdown button. Change video, then click media on the left side of the screen, upload video two, then go ahead and click on next, and then click done. And now that that's done, and you made sure everything else in this section is good, you're then gonna duplicate this ad set again, where you're then gonna upload the third video that you have for this ad campaign, and continue to do this process again. So you just wanna go ahead and duplicate the ad campaign again, and then upload another video. And you can also do this for your still image ads. You just have to follow the same steps. So instead of changing out the video for another video, you'll just change out the video for a still image ad. Or you can make a carousel ad set. By duplicating this current ad set, selecting the carousel format here, and then adding in the images that you wanna include in this ad. All right, now before we go over the stages an ad campaign has to go through for it to be fully published on Facebook, you remember that giveaway I mentioned earlier? So your question is, what are the two regions that you should push your ads to when it comes to e-commerce? All right, so after I explain what happens when you publish your campaign, I'm then gonna tell you about the 72 hour rule that completely changed my business and I'm also gonna show you how to apply it to your own ad campaigns. But first, when you do publish your ad campaigns, there's a few simple steps that it has to go through before it is active on Facebook. And every ad campaign is gonna go through these exact same steps because Facebook, they wanna be careful about what they let people promote on their platform. First, your ad is gonna start processing when you click the publish button. When your ads are processing, it's being uploaded to the platform system for review. And when your ad is being reviewed, the platform is going to be looking over your ad campaign and making sure that there's nothing that violates their guidelines. Then you need to wait until when you schedule for the ad to publish. And when that time comes, you'll either see that your ad campaign got rejected or it got published on the platform. If your ads do get rejected though, do not panic. Trust me, it happens way more than you know. If this does happen though, just go ahead and review Facebook's guidelines, make whatever adjustments that you think it needs, and just go ahead and try again. Now, if your ad gets accepted though, it's gonna show an active status on your ad campaign. And this active status is what lets you know that people on Facebook can actually see your ad. And once your ad is active, you'll then start seeing data coming in. And here's where that crucial 72 hour rule that I mentioned comes in. Do not, do not make changes for at least 72 hours or three days after your campaign starts running online. This is the exact period that Facebook's algorithm needs to be able to fully optimize your campaign. Touching your ads before three days is the number one mistake that I see beginners make all the time. It's like pulling plants up from the roots just to see if they're growing. And there's a specific action that you need to take on day four that will determine whether your campaign becomes profitable or not. I'll be sharing the action that you need to take in detail in my advanced scaling video. Listen, I know how it feels to be stuck in that office chair, dreaming of building your own business. I was there too, just wondering if my ad campaigns would ever even just break even let alone make me enough money to quit my job. If you're serious about breaking out of that nine to five cycle, my one-on-one -on -one mentorship is gonna give you the personalized guidance that you need. One of my expert e-commerce consultants is gonna analyze your store's data with you and develop strategies to scale from your first sale to five, six, and even seven figures. So if you're finally ready to start learning, growing, implementing, and scaling your business, then go ahead and click on the link down below and apply for one of the limited spots available in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship and let's go ahead and get to work today. But if you wanna learn the basic information for what it takes to become a successful e-commerce business owner, there's always my free training course, which is filled with information that you might not even know that you were missing. Now that you have a complete ad campaign set up, your next step is first, monitor which ad creative performs best. Then second, scale that winning ad creative and go ahead and cut off all the losers. And then third, test new audiences and visuals using your winning ad creative. Remember that one thing that I mentioned at the beginning that separates losing companies from $10,000 plus a month winners? It's actually the combination of everything that we just covered. The proper audience targeting, the testing structure, 
and most importantly, the 72 hour patience rule. These three elements form what I call the profitable ad framework that has helped dozens of my students quit their nine to five jobs, including one who just went from zero to over a million dollars in as little as nine months. And if you consistently follow this process, it won't be long before you see results like this. Want to learn the advanced scaling strategies that I use once a campaign starts getting in sales? Then check out my video on scaling strategies where I reveal the exact day four action that I mentioned earlier. I'll see you there. This is AC with Supreme Ecom and I'm out.